Thank you. Uh, so my name is JP, and I work for New AE, which is an odd name, but you may know us better as makers of Trip Whisperer. Uh, I know it's kind of a niche thing, but I've, I've spoken to a few people today actually who've used it before. So Trip Whisperer is basically uh, it's it's this here. It's basically a specialized single-channel oscilloscope for making power measurements of uh, very small differences uh, in power of a target that can be used to break their security or lack thereof. Um, and it's an open source project, so I just want to give a bit of an overview because we've had a lot of contributions on the software side over the years, but not so much on the hardware side, and I'd love to see that change over time. So it's our main product. Um, like I said, yeah, it's used for side channel attacks, which I'm glossing over due to the three minute time limit, but happy to give you more in depth later. Um, it's all open source from the schematic to the FPGA code, which at the heart of this firmware and host interface code, like I was saying, um, the FPGA stuff. We have some cool stuff that I wanted to just quickly highlight um, that we'd like to see reused or have people contribute to or whatnot. So first thing is something we call Trace Whisper. So if there's any uh, ARM embedded developers here, you may know about ARM Trace, which is a super powerful uh, I mean, if you measure in terms of uh, spec pages, like there's at least a thousand pages of ARM documentation, like it's super complicated, it's super powerful. Um, so we use it to be able to like trigger on like when the processor is executing a specific condition. Um, and so we've got some FPJ code to deal with trace um, and happy to see people reuse it, do cool things with it. There's more material there if you look at our GitHub. Uh, the challenge about trace is that it's really super uh, bad to parse. Like it's 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 kind of crazy. But there's another really cool open source project called Orbiculum, which does parsing in software. If we could do the parsing on FPJ, that would be awesome. So that's something that um, if that interests you, let me know. The other thing, so when you're doing side channel attacks, you're making power measurements and in things like public key cryptography in particular, like things are very repetitive and you want to be able to cache those repetitive things. And one of the ways to do that is you want to make your uh, measurements when this repetitive thing happens, you can use the actual power trace. So triggering from the power trace, which is not something that as general purpose oscilloscopes necessarily do. And it's super expensive actually to do in hardware. I can tell you more about why. So here we have like a, this is the Devato uh, device view of like it's the Arctic 7 A35, so kind of beside the PJ, and the SAD logic takes up most of it. So I've been doing a lot of like, thinking of how to like reach the commercial state of the art, and it's uh, shockingly difficult. 